and so it gives you good light because when the light is the phone is inside the light the light is just everywhere but we want the focus to be on you so the light should face you downward preventing shadows and pouring the light on the right places that it should be and your phone should be somewhere in front of the light to capture you and not everything that's happening behind you or around you hi guys welcome to my channel this is essential alex and if you're new here welcome if you are a returning subscriber welcome to this room well, grab a drink sit tight and let's get right into the video in this video i'm going to talking about filming equipment every beginner needs number one on my list is your camera yes and um, these days you don't really need a fancy camera we all have smartphones that can give us a good camera quality i'm currently filming on my phone i've mentioned this a thousand times i know you're tired of it but i use a Oppo Reno 5f so that's what i'm filming with and a lot of us this is have iphones so yeah iphone is just as yes the camera quality is very good you can use your camera quality and a uh, few tips that we give you is use your back camera make sure you use your back camera the back camera is always better than the front camera this is what my front camera looks like yes see to avoid distraction like this also just use your back camera and the camera quality is good my camera quality is still good but oops i'm not using it i prefer to use this part of the camera because it's better i want to actually see if my video is streaming yes and to prevent distraction like this you will need a reflection in front of you like a mirror or something like i'm filming in front of my tv i can see myself on my tv screen so yes you can actually use a mirror put a mirror in front of you in front of the camera and you see what is happening everywhere in the camera so my next tip on the camera is film on 4k if your phone doesn't film on 4k try and film your video in the highest um what's it called resolution yes try to film your video in the highest resolution it's actually do you a lot of good don't forget to clean the, your camera lens don't forget to clean it it is very important no matter how we try to say that it is not dirty it is dirty because there are small small particles that come and in between your video try and clean your lens which i will do now i just cleaned my lens and i adjusted the position of my camera and in editing your videos use apps that can download in 4k or 2k just like CapCut. CapCut is a darling i'll actually talk more on CapCut as we go through the video so just keep on watching my next point will be your sound use mic if you're if you cannot afford the mic start with what you have because this year we are not going to procrastinate we are not going to keep saying we'll do shit we'll do shit and we end up not doing it use what you have to get what you want your most of our smartphones these days the, the phone mic the mic on the phone actually have a good sound so we can use with the mic and without the mic but i'm using a clip on mic a bluetooth clip on mic so that can work you can use a lapel mic I was using a clip on mic before that has wire that that is actually cheaper than this i think i bought that for on aliexpress i bought it for less than i bought it for i bought it on aliexpress less than a thousand euro so you can actually get that one i'll put the picture of that mic here so you see here here's my hand <laughs> so you see what you should get yes and this mic too is very good i think it's in nigeria here yeah, it sold for twelve thousand plus i think get it for 12k but on aliexpress i got it for less than 10k most of my equipment i got them from aliexpress and please use a tripod use a tripod too for stability but if you have a stable place like if you have a place that you can put your phone and it will give you stability because the only thing a tripod gives you is stability if you can get a place to put your phone that it will not be moving about why not if you can't afford a tripod why not but if you can afford a tripod please invest in 
your equipment so my next tip will be lightning i actually don't know if it's lightning lighting lightning light yeah lightning i'm saying lightning sounds like thunder thunder and lightning lightning yeah yeah like light being the light of the world <laughs> yes light so i currently use my ring lights to a 32 inches ring lights to film my video my but you can actually do with what you have if you have a wide, wide window that allows light from outside natural light to come in why not use a ring window if you cannot afford a ring light we want to start small and um, stuff with what we have my first video my introductory video that i filmed i didn't film it with the ring light because i had a ring light before and it was stolen so i had to save money to get a bigger one so i think using natural light too will work for you other source of light you can use a ring light like i mentioned in using your ring light try not to put your phone inside the phone holder of the ring light because most of the ring lights come with phone holder just try and get another place to put like i use my tripod to this tripod i use it to put my phone for stability i bought a different tripod so you can so it gives you a good light because when the light is the phone is inside the light the light is just everywhere but we want the focus to be on you so the light should face you downward preventing shadows and point the light on the right places that it should be and your phone should be somewhere in front of the light to capture you and not everything that is happening behind you or around you the next tip would definitely be studio where to film your content so studio a lot of times studio is a big problem and a challenge for beginners use what you have I know how tricky that use what you have in studio can actually be can actually be yes so because I had a challenge with using my house to film but presently I'm using another location so because we got to the end of this video I know I'm a generous person so I always give you bonus 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 yes I'm going to be giving you bonus in this video and the bonus tip I'm going to be giving you is editing apps CapCut and InShot I personally use CapCut but I started with InShot so CapCut is an underrated app I feel CapCut is not giving the accolade and glory we are supposed to actually give to CapCut so CapCut helps you film in, upload in 4k it helps you get sound helps you get subscribe button most of my subscribe buttons are from CapCut if you don't want to do something extra helps you helps you create your thumbnail helps you remove your picture most of my images i remove the background from the image using CapCut because it still retains the quality of the picture unlike other apps sorry to the other apps so CapCut is an underrated app so please use CapCut. please use CapCut. if you want to learn more about editing apps Please go watch this video and I'll drop the link to this video on my description. With that being said, this is the end of our video. This day is very short and I'm kind of rushing it because I actually have a lot of things to do and um, I made a commitment to always film. I made a, I made a commitment to always film and post every week. end of this video thank you thanks for watching please 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 if you like this face this beautiful face that is on your screen please don't forget to subscribe like and share my content 